Now at 11, a crisis in the Florida Keys. Just days after hundreds of migrants landed on South Florida's shores, prompting the closure of Dry Tortugas National Park, another 140 arrived today in Key Largo. The migrants relieved to have made it on American land after risking their lives to leave their own country, but will they get to stay? CBS 4's Anna McAllister spoke to an immigration attorney about it and joins us live at the Miami Beach Coast Guard Station with more. Anna? Lauren Elliott, there are several agencies who are working on this. This includes the U.S. Border Patrol, the Coast Guard, and the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. But I also spoke to a local immigration attorney who tells me it's only going to be a matter of weeks, if not sooner, for these migrants to be sent back. New video posted on social media showing the incredible moment a raft full of Cuban migrants was spotted and rescued by a Carnival cruise crew. The video showing the Carnival staff assisting the refugees stranded at sea onto the ship. But this raft is just one of dozens that showed up in South Florida territory over the last couple days. Your heart breaks for the people that, that are on the boats that are doing it because they're putting their lives in danger. Tuesday, dozens of Haitian migrants arrived in Key Largo, making the dangerous journey on the sea to come to America. Haiti is very dangerous, Haitian migrant Amos Augustine told us. So he took his chances on the rough ocean, and he said it was well worth it. Despite their difficult journey to pursue the American dream, their time in the U.S. could be short-lived. If they don't pass that uh, credible fear interview, obviously they can go in front of a judge for, to review that credible fear interview. And if he's denied, then unfortunately they will be deported from the United States. Jose Guerrero, a South Florida immigration attorney, says migrants who arrive in America illegally can request a credible fear interview by asylum officers to determine if their claims of fleeing from persecution are valid. If they don't pass the credible fear interview, uh, they will be deported. Um, I mean, it, it is called uh, expedite removal. You're talking about from 30 to 40 or maybe 45 days, they will be returned. But if they pass the credible fear interview, then they might be released into you know uh, the public. And then it will take years for them to go in front of an immigration judge to have you know her or his or her asylum case heard in front of the judge. Regardless of the risks, migrants are showing up in droves to South Florida, and according to the U.S. Border Patrol, the Miami sector has seen a 400 percent increase in migrant encounters since October 1st, 2022. And we're just learning from the Coast Guard that they sent back 71 migrants back to Cuba today. And we're also learning that the Dry Tortugas, the migrants that are there, a group of them will also be met with U.S. Border Patrol in Key West tomorrow. Reporting live from Miami Beach, Adam McAllister, CBS 4 News. Okay, Anna, thank you very much. Tonight, a 